Attorney General Todd Rokita now trying to block Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb's lawsuit against the General Assembly. We brought you that breaking news right here Friday evening. Now, the governor says a law allowing legislators to call themselves back into a special session is unconstitutional. Rokita disagrees, and our Kayla Sullivan explains why. The Indiana Constitution says the governor has the power to call a special legislative session. However, it doesn't say whether the General Assembly can or can't. So legislators passed a law allowing them to bring themselves back to the state house during a public emergency. The governor vetoed it, saying it was unconstitutional. Lawmakers voted to override him, leaving the governor with one last option, a lawsuit. Ultimately, courts are... Uh, the ones who say what the constitutions mean in our system. Now, Attorney General Todd Rokita has moved to strike the lawsuit. During an interview in November, he expressed his support for lawmakers to be able to call themselves into session during an emergency. Our emergency declaration law, um, which is being used for these different executive orders, was never meant for uh, a pandemic that has lasted as long as this. So, uh, under our constitution, the leaders who are most accountable uh, to the taxpayers and voters and citizens of the state uh, are found in the legislative branch. The governor's office asked Rokita's permission to hire outside counsel for the lawsuit. He denied it and now is trying to block it from going to court. Rokita stresses this litigation would set a precedent for branches to sue one another at the expense of taxpayers over abstract disagreements. However, IU constitutional law expert Beth Kate says that's not what's happening here. This lawsuit involves a very rare situation in which the governor is saying the legislature effectively rewrote the state constitution to give itself one of the governor's exclusive powers. And it's not like anyone can sue over the constitutionality of this law. They have to have proven standing that they're directly impacted. Kate says the governor has that. I think the governor just goes ahead and responds to the motion that's been filed by the attorney general. Kayla Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Kayla, thanks. The attorney general also pointed out the constitution does not allow lawmakers to be involved in a lawsuit during session and since lawmakers still have some business to attend to this year the session has not yet officially adjourned we'll let you know what happens in this ongoing legal debate